Very special guest joining us on Fox 11 this morning. We are talking with Ventura City Council member Doug Halter. He's got a new book out. It's called Give Me Time. Doug joining us to talk about it. Good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning. It's great to see you too, Joe. Uh, we know each other a little bit through our poker group, which has been put on, unfortunately put on hold due to the pandemic and everything. But uh, I know a little bit of your story. And every time I see you and talk to you while we're playing poker, I learn more. And then you put it all down in a book. What inspired you to write it down and, and then release this? It, it's your life story. Well, that's a great question because I got to tell you, for me, it was this, I've been speaking in classes for a long time, for about uh, 25 years. And every time I speak in one of the classes at the colleges or a corporation, somebody says, you need to write a book. You need to write a book. And for me, I believe everybody has an interesting story. That's hugely why I love meeting new people. But I know mine's been extraordinary uh, in the sense that I've been extremely fortunate. Um, no one really knows what path their life's going to take what their journey of life's going to be. But I know there's been a lot of lessons. I do uh, always tend to look for the silver linings and look for um, the cause and effect and where it's led me today to the quality of life I have and the influence in our community that I've been fortunate enough to, to have been elected to serve. Yeah, not, so. not only are you a city council member, um, but your your history in Ventura goes goes back so far. And then, you know, this is a big month. It's it's Pride Month. Uh, you are a gay man. You're also somebody who's living with AIDS. And this is the 40 year anniversary of the AIDS crisis. And your book touches on that. You're very open about your experience. You were told you had a month to live, right? That's what you thought at the beginning? Uh, in, at the beginning, yeah. I, I actually found out my diagnosis in 87. So it's been wow. 34 years. And at the time, I had a full bone AIDS diagnosis. And, uh, I know that I was infected while I was at UCSB in 1980s, in early 81. And um, little did I know this disease was out there spreading across the world and through, especially through the LGBTQ community. So I got to tell you is that the, the AIDS pandemic has definitely brought a lot of us, quote, out of the closet, put a lot of us on the front, front lines because of seeing everyone around us getting sick and my own partner passing away in 1990. It really forced a lot of us to reevaluate what life's all about and being strong and courageous enough to be the people that we are, that I believe God created us to be and to do what we can to make this a better world. And that's how you build bridges is by people getting to know who we are and not be afraid of or feel threatened by somebody being different. So for me, uh, I know I've been infected for 40 years, almost the, the entire time that we knew this pandemic's been out there. I also know that my ability and my um, AIDS, AIDS gave me the courage to be the person that I am and not be afraid of what other people may think. And with that, I, I've earned so many friendships and developed so many relationships. There's interesting numbers with, with HIV and, and AIDS over the last 40 years. Some 700,000 Americans uh, have been lost since 1981. And people, people obviously still living with it today. It's, it's not over. Uh, and, and the health crisis we're in now kind of parallels, in a way, what we saw back then. What were you thinking as coronavirus was playing out and you're seeing this kind of happening again? It was extremely emotional for me, John, I got to tell you, because uh, knowing what we witnessed in the early 80s through the, <clears throat> through the mid 90s, and especially late 80s to mid 90s, it felt like the entire world <clears throat> the, the entire world was dying. And uh, to know that yet another severe pandemic was about to hit. And I, I just remember thinking, uh, I, I thought we had learned a lot and educated our communities about pandemics and about the fact that what impacts one part of our community impacts all of our community. Yeah. And uh, we did a lot of the lessons of AIDS, um, I think helped with the COVID pandemic. But and I'm I'm absolutely in awe that they found a vaccine within a year. Incredible. Uh, with HIV, we're still waiting. We have 40 years. There's no cure. There's no uh, no vaccine. But a lot of us are staying alive. Yeah. Uh, thanks to a lot of very expensive medication. Uh, being a Ventura County City Council member, Ventura <laughs> City City Council member, uh, kind of talk about reopening the city. That's also a, you know part of what the end yeah. of this book kind of touches on what life was going to be like uh, post pandemic and what things <laughs> are looking like. Ventura has, has changed a lot over the last year. It really has changed a lot. I got, I've been here 
after I graduated Santa Barbara, I got my chemical engineering degree and went to other places and ended up in Ventura. I love the Central Coast. And Ventura and Santa Barbara have a very close inter interconnected uh, communities. Uh, but Ventura has a lot that uh, I've been involved in from the cultural arts, Rubicon Music Festival, Botanical Gardens. And what's been exciting is this, is that I, I believe that uh, if you have an idea, if you have an opinion, you not only have a right to express that and share that, but if you know it's a good thing, work on it, make it happen, help make it so. And every single person has that power to do that. I just didn't know, I didn't know that yeah. until we formed all these nonprofits. So as we move forward in the city of Ventura, um, we're going to continue celebrating who we are, enhancing what we love, and creating the most vital economy we can while enhancing our quality of life. So wait till you see what happens in downtown Ventura and throughout our city. It's great stuff. And uh, the book is called Give Me Time, The Life and Times of uh, Douglas Halter. And pick it up. It, it is a good read. Uh, he has more information up on his website. Doug, it's good to see you. Hopefully I can see you at poker one of these days pretty soon. I hope so. I don't know how to play that well, but I sure <laughs> enjoy it. Me either. It's just a fun <laughs> night. All right, Doug, take it care. Is. Good to talk to you. All right, you too. Same here. Thank you for having me.